Hi everyone, uh, my name is Fadi Abu Ghosh. I am Arab, an Arabic teacher at Chicago Public Schools and I will uh, present for you um, uh, a presentation about using games and warm up and brain break activities. So we'll start right now. Um, so I teach in Chicago Public School, like, like I said. I teach at Limbo Math and Science Academy. This is my 13 years teaching, uh, will be my 13 years teaching Arabic. I'm also the department chair. Uh, I, uh, my presentation is 30 minutes, so uh, I don't have a lot of time to explain why we are using brain breaks and games in the classroom. So, because I want to share like almost, almost 15 to 20 games and uh, like activities and uh, brain, break, um, brain break activities. So let us start right now. Um, so, so like I said, the presentation called games, brain and brain breaks to keep the class moving. Um, this is my email address. This one, if you want a copy of my presentation, uh, you can email me here. And also I will share my presentation with you all. And if you have any question, like if you have, because already, like I said, I have just 30 minutes. So I need, um, um, so I don't have a lot of time to explain everything. So if you have any question, just email me here. Thank you. So let us start. We'll start with this, with this activity. Uh, it's called warm up. This is for warm up. Uh, it's called earthquake. In Arabic, means zilzal. Zilzal. So the zilzal is like this. The students will sit in a circle, and one students, like imagine you have um, um, ten students. Like you can make, if you have more students, of course, you can make two groups or three groups. So one student will be standing, the rest will be sitting. The participant in the middle will say something. For example, let us talk about, for example, if we did this activity Monday. So the participant in the middle will say something he or she did over the weekend or over the break. One sentence, for example, I went to the movie theater. If anyone seated did the same thing over the weekend, over the weekend or over the break, they have to stand up and find another avail available chair to sit on. The speaker can try to sit in any available seat. The last one standing has to share a new sentence. You got the idea. And you can, this is, you can do it with, um, like it's, I said, weekend. Um, uh, you can talk about, uh, for example, hobbies, uh, uh, like clothes and stuff like that. And, and right now, if nobody want to stand up, the teacher can say what? The word earthquake, and you have to say it in the target language, zilzal. If the teacher said zilzal, everybody has to stand up and go around and find a seat uh, like uh, find a chair to sit on. The last one is standing like I, uh, again, he will say a sentence. Okay, next. Right now, a brain break draw. So this is a new brain break. I start using it in the class. You, I, I will ask the students, take a sheet of paper, draw, I will ask them, draw a pizza with your dominant hands. Then, I will ask him after they finish, draw a pizza with your non-dominant hand. And this is just like, it will take two to three minutes. And you can uh, ask him to draw anything else, anything you want. Okay, so this is brain break draw. Okay, this is another brain break, it's called 10. In Arabic means 10. So, all the students will stand in a big circle around the room in order clock clockwise around the circle students count aloud the number one to ten each student can say one 
two or three numbers. When it is their turn, they could say one, or they can say one, two, or they can say one, two, three. Whoever say the number 10 is out and must sit down. Play until one student remains. Extension, two teams, uh, like extension, you can, you can uh, instead of counting until 10, you can count until 100. And anybody will say like 10 or 20, 30, etc. will sit down. Okay? So this is the game 10. Now, um, brain break 10. And then next, another brain break called 1, 2, 3, solve. Or 1, 2, 3, and you have to solve solve it so two students against each other this is one students a students b for example we'll say one two three you have to say the first one will win if he say the sum so six one two three four one two three three one two three eight one two three five you got the idea? You have to say the sum of the two hands. The sum of the two hands. And continue. You can play it. Um, you can The student can play against each other, each two, and switch with other students. So this is the brain break. One, two, three. Solve. Okay. Next. Learn. Next one is called flip grid. Flip grid. For sure, I think most of you will know it. Flip Grid is um, uh, a website or an app for speaking, for speaking. And the nice thing about it, it's free. So I will show you one of my classes right now. Okay. So... So this is my uh, my account. Okay. So this is so this is uh, this is George. Um, so the thing is, you need to you need to when you create an account, you need to create grids grids each like for each class you should create an, a grid, and in the grid you create topics topics. So, um, so, so for example, I want to show you the main page. Educator sign up, login. Okay, you see, we have. Oh, and for all my classes, these grids. I have a 12 grids. So, um, for I will show you an example here. Let me see this period. Okay, you see how many topics? So you see travel, uh, my favorite city, my favorite city, interpersonal speaking, Omniyat al Amil Jadid, I am from. So these are topics. And you share these topics with the students, you see? Okay, you can share it with Google Classroom or copy the link and share, send it by email, or you can use, share it with with uh, Remind. Um, uh, so I uh, so I want to because for sake of time, just I want to show you how many students you see how many students uh, recorded their videos. So all these students recorded their videos using Flip Grid. Flip Grid. Okay. So this is flip grid. Next, again, if you have any question, you can email me. You can email me, and also for each uh, like for each topic, they can there is a uh, there is a code, a code, and also when the students record something, you can reply reply to the students, and nobody else can see the reply, give to give feedback stuff like that. Okay. So this one is selfie. 
actually uh, the selfie i took it from uh, like i learned it from uh, this brain break from annie pell she teach in uh, new orleans i think most of you know it and know her um so the sil the brain break is like this at the end of the class sometimes i will count okay i will tell the students okay now selfie brain break i will count to 20. Wow, wow. So of course i will say it in the target language i'll say واحد اثنان ثلاث واحد اثنان ثلاث أربعة خمسة ستة سبعة ثمانية تسعة عشرة so this is until 10 and continue until 20 then everybody will come behind me and will do selfie and the students love it you know the students they like to do um, to do these things okay next so right now this is okay so flip the grid flip the grid we can use we can use it also online teaching and also the selfie i did it with them i took a selfie with the students this one also is a very good activity for the students to talk to each other it's called we'll decide.com we'll decide.com okay so i will show you an example an example okay so so like I said, we'll decide and you create, you will decide and add it as a bookmark, the, like you do bookmark for it. So you can use it for the classes. So this is an example. I um, So this is one of the will decide that I made it for my students. And you see there is almost, almost 20 questions. Um, um, you go down, if you go down, you can hear, you can hear, uh, type your questions, type all your questions that you want, or you can type topics. For example, you can type like sport, food, um, travel, stuff like that. Then you apply wheel change, apply wheel change, and you will find uh, you uh, you will find the the questions over here. So right now, you will ask the student. Okay, could um, everybody stand up? You can do it wh whatever you can, like whatever how, however you want. So for me, sometimes I will ask them to stab in uh, stand up in two lines facing each other. Then I will play the the wheel decide. I did not get, uh, So the question is, ما مطعمك المفضل? What is your favorite restaurant? So I will have timer. Each student will ask the same question. What is your favorite restaurant? My favorite restaurant is this. For my students also, I will ask them to do follow-up questions. So ما مطعمك المفضل? What is your favorite restaurant? Uh, what do you eat over there? Where is the restaurant? Why do you like this restaurant? Stuff like that, you know, follow-up questions. And like I said, this is a very good activity to do uh, um, interpersonal speaking with each other. It's inter interpersonal speaking, and you after uh, they are uh, the they ask each other, we switch. We'll uh, you know the two lines. We we'll take the first one going to the end of the line and push the line, and another two pair of students will start talking about different questions. So I play it again. How is the weather today? How is the weather today? So this is we'll decide. We'll decide.com. Okay, and it's free. Next. Next one is Connect Four. So this game, Connect Four, and there is another game after this one. It's called Ala Mahlak. I learned it from my friend. His name is Bilal Jundia. He used to teach in the United States. He is right now in the United Emirates. And I think uh, I think he he teach in Utah for Star Talk for the last 10 years, I think. So, so these games from him. I learned it from him and I use it from my students. So the game is like connect for. So the game is like this. You 
you put pictures on the left, pictures of people, famous people, and picture of activities in the top. So this top, this is from um, um, a colleague in my class uh, in my school. Her name is Saza Brittany. She teach Arabic too, and this is about subjects. So the students, you print out board like this, and you give each two one paper. For me, I eliminate, uh, I do elimination for all of them so we can use them more and more. So the students has to say sentences. So for example, uh, Miley Cyrus, she will say for example, like one of the students will say for example, my favorite subject is English. And if she will say, uh, she will do her initial here. Another student, she will, um, she will say for example, Ustaza uh, Brittany, favorite class is math. You know what I mean? So the the winner of this game is like connect four, is like to have four in a row, four. And also imagine it's a real connect four, so that they have to start from the bottom. So they will have more, more sentences, more, they will say more sentences. And make sure to make, make sure that all the students are working and saying sentences because sometimes if you don't look at them, they will start playing Connect Four. Okay, so my students love this game, and you can um, like this picture. You can change it with any picture you want, even the celebrities. You can change them, uh, and I will send you the link. Of, like if you want the link of the game, actual like. Uh, uh, Google slide, I will share it with you, and you can make copy and change the picture and use it with your students. So this is another uh, brain break. Would you rather to be like uh, best looking person in the room or the most intelligent and the students will answer it here. You can change it like uh, in Arabic here, more beautiful or most int more intelligent. Another one, like I said, this is ala mahlak, ala mahlak, which means slow down, slow down. I will show you the game. Like I said, this is, I learned it from Bilal. So, al bidaya and nihaya, start, finish, start, finish. So there is two students, one dice. The student, one of the students will play the dice. For example, he get number three, and he will start one, two, three. So he will say a sentence about this picture. Who uh, he is washing his face. So the other students will come. And you, you, you have to have chips, like different two colors, and the students will be here. And uh, like he put the chip over here. And the other student will play the dice, for example, and he will get number four. If he get number four, he this is back, or you see, he will go back. So one, two, three, four, and he will say a sentence. So the, newer, uh, the winner of this game has to start from the uh, beginning all the way clockwise to the end. Okay? So this is Ala Mahlak game. Okay, next. Card talk. Card talk. So this game is like questions. If you have 50, 25 students, you will what? You will write or type 25 questions. All students will receive a card with a question on it. Uh, like for example, where do you live? What is your favorite restaurant? What is your favorite food? What, what, what is your, uh, where do you like to travel? Stuff like that, like any questions. Like you can talk about stuff that you, the students learn it right now, type it or something old. Okay, so the game is like this. Everybody will get a question. So we'll play, we'll start the music and the students will start, uh, start dancing. When, when, when the, when the music stop, each two will talk to each other. They will read their questions to each other and the other student, like they will answer it together. And sometimes I'll give you more time to do follow-up questions over the questions. Then after that, when they sh once they shared, they swap cards. Then we'll play a music again. Then again, they will uh, find another partner and continue until, like for example, like you play it for 20 minutes, 
15 minutes, 20 minutes. So the nice thing, imagine like you, the students, like if they uh, make sure that everybody is asking each other, at least, at least each student will, each students will ask 10 questions. Okay. So this is the card talk. Next. Okay, I'm sorry. Brain break. Brain break, stand up and high five seven people. So I will say, okay, so brain break. Everybody stand up, high five seven students or seven uh, students. Yalla, okay, wahan. Then we'll, and I will do it with them. And I don't know right now if you can do it, if we can go back to school, if we could do this game. Maybe we'll do like um, uh, shoulder to shoulder, what is called uh, knee to knee or stuff, stuff like that, because already right now, with the coronavirus, it's uh, not safe to do like high fives or high five in the air. Like you don't know, you, you, like you don't, you don't need to touch hands, you know. So, so this is the game about uh, brain break. Next, game kit. So game kit. I don't have to. I don't have time to explain it, but I want you to go www gamekit.com and check this game you can copy like copy paste copy uh, uh, like vocabulary from your quizlet account and post it over here and um, and it's like a kahoot and the students will play against each other but this is more fun because it's like limited for 10 minutes and um, the music is very excited when you play it the students when the students play it. Okay. So, so this is game kit. Game kit. Okay. So a brain break, tic tac toe, tic tac toe. The same thing. The same thing, but you will see it in Arabic in the target language. For example, like two students, Hajar. ورقة مقص and they play against each other and uh, like like the winner will play with another student and see who's the winner and stuff like that for uh, for a timer for two minutes three minutes and the students like I said love this game okay next running dictation running dictation so this running dictation is like this. Um, two students, you taught a story. Each student, to, uh, like each team, uh, from uh, like you divide the classes, uh, class in the, the students into teams. Each team contains two students. One will be the runner and one will be the writer. Okay, so you will post all the writing outside the classroom. You cut the, uh, you cut, um, you cut the story into a basic plot point plot points and the students who are sitting and the students who are, like I, I said one is right uh, the writer and one is the runner the runner will go outside they will read a sentence for example there is a boy his name is uh john he will go inside john, there is a boy his, his name is john and the other student will start writing the sentence and continue until they, he finish copying all the sentences from outside. Then, as to, for, for like, uh, together, they will rearrange a story, reorder it, in or, like put the sentences in order. So at the end of this running dictation, you see there is a link for, an, uh, for the activities I did it in the class. So you can see it in action. Okay, this is a very good game because already the students will learn, they will, uh, they will speak, write, type and there is reading listening speaking and writing okay next wall reading wall reading so the game is like the wall reading is like this i post sentences sentence strips for, uh, uh, outside the classroom um okay so i will give the students questions and the students will stand up and go outside to write the answer for these questions so it's a fun activity because it's uh, instead of like just sitting the, sit down and answer the question from the reading they will go outside to look for the answers okay next 
So this is another game, a brain break. It's called um, obstacle course. So you will ask the students, everybody to stand up. You will ask all the students to stand up and then you will uh, you you play the the video you will find these videos in youtube you see ups, uh, obstacle course and you will start telling the student okay three two one and in the target language you will say for example uh, run or could or could or could if or could or could if or could or could or could or could if and continue like this is this is another game this is a seven minute um, uh, youtube but you can find a two minute youtube a three minute youtube and it's a nice nice uh, br uh, brain break you can uh, do it at the end of the uh of the, at the end of like if like usually i do it fridays so this is um like I said, the brain break. Next one. So this one is called weekend chat. Weekend chat. Uh, I don't have a lot of time to show you, uh, like to show you that Twitter. Like there is some pictures here if you click on the link. But I will tell you about it fast. So these you print common activities in the past tense. I slept a lot. I played video games, etc. So I will put. <clears throat> I will post them on the board. As the students enter the room, they read the sentence and they write their names under the activity they did that weekend. Okay, when the students, all of them finish, I will go, I will start, I will start doing something called uh, write and discuss, write and discuss. So I will say, okay, Fadi, he went to the movie theater. Wah, wah. Uh, and of course in the target language. And Tony went to the restaurant or stuff like that and continue. It's a fun game. Okay. So this is another um, extension for weekend chat. Another extension for, for weekend chat. I want to, like, we have almost six minutes. Uh, Okay, so the same thing. You will give him the worksheet here, activities in the weekend, X or um, check. So you, the students will read this, this activity. He will put a check if he did it, X if he didn't do it. Then after they finish those, this reading, here the students will stand up and they will uh, look uh, and they will ask other students. And these the question and they will write the names over here. Okay, uh, so did you go to the movie, movie theater? Did you go to a restaurant? Yes, and you can't, you can, like I ask him, especially with the, like uh, level three, level four students, I will ask him to do follow-up questions. Like for example, did you go into the movie theater? Yes, what did you watch? How was the movie? With who? Stuff like that. And this is a nice game, like I said. Okay, next. Okay, this is a conversation card game. So four or six students, they will stand on a circle. Each student will have four cards with the following comments, co commands, commands, written on them. Add a thought, ask a question, give support, answer a question. And all of them will be in the target language. So the goal of the game, to win by giving all of your cards away. Okay, so how 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 do you play it? I will draw a topic card. Then I will um, say, for example, sport. So each student will try to keep the conversation going by doing an action indicated on this card, in their card. So I will say, for example, my favorite sport is soccer. I will throw the statement uh, card. Another student, why do you play soccer? He will throw the... Uh, the question uh, the question then I will answer it I love soccer because it is um, uh, fun I will throw the answer card 
the other student will say like a supporting statement. Oh my God, me too. He will draw the supporting statement and continue. The first player who uses up all of their card win the game. Okay. Next, there's another game. It's called Find the Difference Between the Two. This is like this is a, um, a brain break. Find the difference. Next, Human Bingo. Human Bingo. It's um, you do it at the beginning of the uh, uh, the school year. You will give each students this uh, like um, uh, actions uh, or stuff. Like for example, uh, like sentences in it. I like chocolate. I like to eat. I like Chicago. I like this one. And they will find have to find a students who like these things, or who do, he do these things. You see what I mean? Next, so this is at the beginning. So to know each other, like you know, to the students know will uh, know all the other students in the class. This is it's called a slab game. So you will post stuff like two students against each other and the whiteboard, you will say again, um, you will say, so for example, uh, a door and the first students, it's a good for review. A student, the, fair, the winner will be the first one who will slap the door and continue. And this is another picture for close. Uh, another game is called Four Corners. For example, delicious, good, not bad, bad. And the, you will say a name of a food, and the students will go under, like, for example, chicken uh, um, pizza. And they will go, like, bad. Like, the students will bad or not bad. And, of course, you have to do it in the target language. Another way I did it is I, I did um, social, um, uh, like, uh, social media. So I will put Facebook, um, TikTok, who like Facebook, they will go to Facebook or TikTok or Snapchat and stuff like that. We have two minutes and that's it. So again, thank you so much. If you have any question, please email me and I will reply to you uh, as soon as possible. And I hope that you enjoy this, my presentation. Again, my name is Fadi Abouhosh and I teach in Chicago. Thank you.